Well, I'm here with uh, Frederick Bon, who is uh, Executive Creative Director of iCrossing. And I have a very um, simplistic uh, first question, because last time I saw you, it was in Berlin, and you were working for Mirum. Yes. Now you're working for iCrossing. What is it, and why did you go there? Uh, so iCrossing is uh, an agency which is part of Hearst. Hearst is the uh, you know, biggest you know, publishing independent group. Uh, and when they called me, I was very interested by you know, kind of the new approach to, to marketing. Okay. Um, and, and we had a lot of discussion, and the reason I joined is really kind of the opportunity of this agency. It's really not, it's not a digital agency, it's not a, you know, kind of pure, like, search agency. It's really the agency for the modern world that focuses on kind of how do we integrate, it, you know, kind of all the tactics to create a unified experience for brands. Okay. And really focusing on the results, you know, that we provide to brands, so the performance of the work. So, but, and what was interesting also is there's a new team that came in the last you know, two years and that really building, you know, kind of that, the capabilities and, and growing you know, creativity as part of the, the way, you know, we deliver performance and results because we know, you know, creativity is always delivering better, better results. But that's true. Well, that's why we're here in Cannes. Exactly. So, so. I'm interested in the fact that uh, the iCrossing is part of Hearst, which is obviously a publisher. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm a journalist, so when I, when I was growing up, uh, Advertising was very separate from the journalism. Now the two are beginning to blur a bit. There are journalists writing brand content. It's kind of a controversial area. What, what do you think about that? I think what's interesting is as long as you're incredibly transparent and honest with people about not hiding what you're doing, I think mm. brands have an opportunity to develop content, work with editors, work with... But as long as it's very you know, transparent about what you're doing, I think if the content is interesting, I think people will connect with it. And I think what's uh, interesting about being part of Hearst, um, you know, it's, you know, kind of this ability that we have to tap into not only the trends, you know, that incredible amount of data that Hearst has, that has at, at disposal, at our disposal, in order to, you know, find the best insights, you know, and really kind of craft a strategy around what people do and what people want. Right. Um, but the second element of that is being able to kind of connect with the editorial teams uh, and partner with them to create content, again, with, for some of the brands. Um, we're, we're running a, a special uh, film about the French touch in advertising. Okay. Is there, in fact, a French touch? It's interesting because I guess, obviously, every French person is very different, you know. Like French, you usually have a, you know, a reputation of being grumpy. <laughs> you don't seem grumpy. Uh, no, actually, like a lot of people call me, there's, there's another... French creative like Fred Levon, I don't know if you know him. We worked together a while for, for a while at Ogilvy, and uh, people call us the two the, the two smiling Freds, uh, <laughs> the French Freds, the two fighting smiling French Freds. Uh, no, and I, I I moved to New York the first time 18 years ago, and then I moved to London, then back to Paris, then back to New York eight years ago. Um, and the interesting things is, the first time I, I moved to New York, I was like, oh, this is incredibly organized, and people are like. Everything is really organized, and there's a, there's a process to everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I came back to Paris, you know, it was, it was like, it was like there was a mess, you know. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, what's happening? Like nothing is organized. It's a, it's a disaster. <laughs> but actually, over time, and I moved back to New York, and I was like, I miss that French spontaneity, you know, yeah. about, you know, yes, it's not going to be perfectly organized. It's going to be a little bit of a mess. We're going to do things a certain way, and you know, we're going to figure it out in the end. And I think that was. Very interesting to me, and what I, I think that is a little bit of spontaneity in the work, and and being able. Yes, we make mistakes, mm. and but we course correct, and we're not always organized, but we learn from from these mistakes, and we we move forward. So yeah, I read somewhere that creativity is essentially a messy process. It so is maybe. a messy process. You know, the five steps of creativity is this is awesome. Step mm. one. Okay. Um, this is tricky. Step two. Uh, this is shit, step three, I am shit, you know, this might be okay, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you go right back to the beginning. You go right back to the beginning, but it's, it is a very difficult process, and actually, sometimes you, you, you as I think every creative, you doubt yourself a lot, you yeah, know, in yeah. the creative process, Yeah. and you're like thinking, and you're going back to it, so, um, I don't know, like, if that's, I think that's part of every creative, but I think the, I would say maybe the French approach is, you know, like, to not freak out about it. Right. <laughs> the beauty out of chaos. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I have to end it there, I'm afraid. You're so welcome. It was great speaking to you. Thank you so much. Bye.